All right, we're, we're back with Gregory the Seventh, Group B, in a very critical game right now, where we got Zeta Two, or Zeta Two versus Bones. So, and today I'm joined with a wonderful person called Chimera Zone. Uh, how you doing, Chimera? Hi. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, Chimera's not played Age of Empires too much. Chimera's a Age of Mythology nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's a... I, I'm, I'm much more um, attuned to the Age of Mythology mythos if you will yeah it's much cooler you got gods and stuff right and, you know but, um yeah obviously we're playing on bypass which is uh as you can see from here <laughs> it's a closed map so they both start off with walls and some like to fight for the middle and others like to fight for the sides but we got zeta 2 from sweden playing as the cumans and obviously bones uh, as the mongols so um Bonesaw lost two of the opening games and, and kind of, you know, uh, kind of felt overwhelmed. But Zeta was more of an early aggression, super um, unlucky. It's like just very lots of early aggression, very aggressive player and, and somebody you, you, you got to watch out for. And yeah, as I say, and this is this is a uh, bypass. So um, both players are going to like they have a way to each other's base. Solid ground on the floor, so you can build castles in the middle, which is nice because it kind of means, you know, some fighting back and forth. Some people did uh, try and build castles, but as you can see, there's uh, <laughs> no nothing left of them. Oof, that's not good. Yeah. So. So my my question is, how did they plant all these trees in this location so that it it forms that shape? That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> So these are like custom maps made by uh, well, T90 and his team. I think uh, one of the people who made them, who like really... Uh, name skips my head now. Um, it's, it's frustrating because like, he's one of the most... Another famous person. <laughs> this is under pressure. Uh, T-West. Like, um, I think I showed you him before. But, uh, I think so. He had uh, like... He's he's quite common in making maps as well, so he's like also tweaked the maps um, to make them all fair. So, like, because every time in, in Age of Empires, when the games begins, it kind of it's all automatic, uh, like randomly spawns. Like, so like for these these maps, they're more like um, what do you call it like more like you're always gonna have a town center here, and you're always gonna have a town set here, and these trees are always gonna be the same, and you can have some food over here and some food over there. But like in terms of like where your gold is and stuff and and berries they're kind of they're always going to be randomized in this area so so these maps are more like um changed from the original games just to make them really balanced because sometimes you know, there can be times when like you know your stone stone could like go out there but uh so it, it's these maps have been made to be very equally played now like you see this side here is a gate but on bone so well, there's a gate there, but then there's no gate here, so it's kind of... And, like, that is, like, quite random. Although I, I didn't really answer your question too much about how the actual trees were there. I just suddenly went on the tangent about the maps. No, but I that's figured, okay. That's, uh, that's relevant to what's what we're talking about, so I think yeah. what you had to say was a lot more important. Uh, <laughs> I think it'd be, like, just interesting, because you, you kind of like that stuff as well, so... Oh, yeah. So... In terms of Age of Empires, me and Chimera, we are. It, when it comes to multiplayer, we don't know that much. Um, we're still like new to the, the game, and the, obviously I played a lot in campaign, but Chimera is just more, you know, chill. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it looks like it looks like they're scouting. Yeah. So at the start of the the game, they both have essentially like orders, a list of orders they go through where they'll get like, you know, four on woods because you start off with like X amount of villagers and you've got to make the most of them to get, you know, the most resources. And some like use just the standard layout where you get like, you know, let's just make this up because I don't actually know the standard layout, but three will go on like woods. The others will build houses so you can keep, you know, building villagers. And then the others just get the hunt, which is the rhino, which got a lot of food, which again, Helps you continue to make villagers so you can grow and grow and grow. Oh wow, they're just going ham on that rhino. Yeah. Some people have trouble when it comes to pulling in the rhinos and accidentally get the villagers killed and stuff, which is super bad. But, um, so Bonesaw was also housed a little bit, so 
Um, he, he couldn't make villagers, which is quite bad. Um, and yeah, so you get you get enough resources obviously from the start to go up to feudal age and keep making villagers, and that's kind of how they they, they start off, just going around getting the ostriches um, or whatever food spawns around. Then when you run out of the food, you can technically like open this gate and then start pushing, you know, the ostriches and zebras in, but um, that's a lot difficult. You wherever the scouts are, to do that you gotta like use your scout and kind of just like you might have seen it already, but. They'll use a scout and they'll start pushing it in. Yeah, they just kind of shepherd them in there. Yeah. Sometimes it could be funny because, like, halfway through getting the, the zebras in, they just walk back and you're like, oh, no. Um, and there's so much to do, obviously, on the start, but trying to also, like, push a zebra in while you're trying to, like, continue to make villagers, continue to wood, start to get gold, all that stuff. It can be really awkward. Now, bone saw is also going up to the next age now, so they're both kind of similar timings in terms of like age two, which is, you know, quite normal, because a lot of times they both like do the similar builds. Um, Bonesaw has is, is gone from out of his base to this side here to put down a mill, meaning he's going to get extra food to hunt these zebras. And Wow, there's a lot of them. It's actually a lot. Oh, whole... that's probably a good choice. Yeah, and if it's not, like, if this isn't scouted, perhaps you can, like, continue to build up your base and then eventually, like, move around to attack from this side. Uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh, indeed. So, <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to quickly rewind to see what happened there, because I'm not actually sure. I just want to... Okay! <laughs> they, they all hunted the ostrich, and Zeta tried to sneak in there, but couldn't get in. <laughs> Wait, you can sneak in? Yeah, so as the villagers are going, are like, opening the gates, you can use your scout and run in at the same time, right? Because the gate's open. That's lit. So, certain players have to be really careful about that, too. Um, I want that to be in the, um, a AOM remake. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. I'm really excited for that. I can't wait for it to happen so much. Like, Me too. I figured I'd just cover Age of Empires and... You know, may maybe over time the magic might wear off. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'll keep. But then, um, if it does, at least Age of M uh, Age of Mythology should be out around the time, so I can keep that going. I mean, so I can change my name back. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know though. Yeah, it may at least we'll always have Age of Mythology. Yeah. So this is quite interesting. Zeta's sent a villager for the middle, and walled right next to the blue gates to kind of like. Just be annoying, and, and now, <laughs> yeah, yeah the, like, so obviously if the blue, like, bone saw tries to come out, he can't because there's a purple gate right here. I think it's interesting, and it kind of, uh, it'll help Zeta just, like, if he does make monks in Castle Age, just to get this, this relic here. And then, and obviously bone saw has seen that and gone, uh-oh, that's gonna just make a stone wall, mark it. No. Bonesaw is using this thing called a fast castle build where you just... It's common in arena games because you have time to just really focus on your economy. And so you, you just really try and, like, boost your economy. Put down um, a market, a blacksmith, because they're required to go to Castle Age. And then, then, you, then you click up to Castle Age there because you have enough resources. But, um... Zeta 2 instead puts down another town centre over here, using his resources for that instead, and just kind of... Uh, I don't know what Zeta's plan is. Maybe Zeta's gonna try and fast cap. But 13 minutes for, for Castle Age is actually pretty, really, like, really quick. Oh. So... I think the only problem is, is... Because Bonesaw's playing as the Mongols, so... They're like a cavalry civilization, so they can, like, be... Going into like knights or whatever like that, you know, so... And I think with knights, you want to just attack through the center. Again, like, you know, I think attacking through the center is it's pretty important in this part because it's such a short distance. And you might be able to get like... Uh, an enemy off guard. You see like... So Zeta's using this scout to just try and, you know, love tap those villagers. Alright. Um, yeah, do you have any questions? Yeah. Any questions you got at the moment? So, uh -oh. um, yeah, uh, I was wondering, um, is, oh, is, is that, is, 
is there a lot is there a lot of um uh carnivorous animals around that are causing an issue can you also harvest from the carnivorous animals no you you can't sadly so they kind of those lions and stuff they are they all spawn in randomly as well like only one so so but they'll be in like random places to kind of they can be a pest obviously if you're just like a villager they'll they'll obviously um you know attack the villagers like like we've seen there so in this case it seems there's only four of them which which you know we've got one here um one there which might be a, again though the more like the more you advance your ages the stronger or it feels like the stronger your villagers become so you know they're more of like a an issue when you when you're still like when you're just beginning the game rather than see this is one by here um that's true i'm sure there's also upgrades you can get to um uh get more powerful villagers yeah there's this thing you spend 50 gold on and most players do it at the start and it's called loom so it makes your villagers hp go from 25 to 40 as you see bone swords got it it's kind of an important tech to get you know, especially because at 25 hp if you don't get loom, uh, it means like... Is looking pretty fancy. Yeah, it's the scout for Zeta will do a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, okay, that, that, that line goes down. But yeah, you've, you've seen the other map, right? Where it's called like Gold Rush, where there's like loads of wolves in the middle. Like that one is... Uh... Now obviously, the wolves cause a lot more problems than the lions, who are just kind of chilling in this one, I guess. But... Yeah. Oh. As I say, so right now, you know, both players very passive with Zeta kind of using this scout here and there just to hit a few of the villagers. Um, and they're both going up to two town centers. It, it feels like maybe Bonesaw could have put down like uh, a stable and start producing knights, but he's actually putting down an archery range. So maybe he's going to go with cav archers, which are, you know. Cavalry archers, obviously, but it's, just, it's, uh, oh, okay. it's, it's not. Are those, are those like a? Do they? Are, are they more of a defensive unit or? I, they, they're good at picking off like villagers, but when it comes to like attacking buildings and stuff, they're pretty bad. And, and like, if you don't get upgrades for them, they don't like. Right now, you see to the top right, you got like forging, scale bard, and armor. Um, the first two are for upgrades for your horse. So, like, that'll be the horse's attack, horse's defense. Um, because they're cav archers, though, they don't use horse attacks. They use the the archery upgrade, which is fletching. So, if you are going to go down the cav archery line, you you probably, like, use your blacksmith and, and get fletching just to increase their damage and stuff. So, so they can do a lot of, like, a lot of damage, but you have to, like, kind of, you know, do lots of micro with them. And now Zeta is... He's actually using his horses here to just kind of pick off the villagers, which is actually really nice. Um, staying under the TC isn't so nice, you know, you have to kind of run away from that, because it's not going to be a fight you're going to win. But that's just, oof. Again, finding these villager kills are so, so good. Because each, each villager can be so, you know, important. Uh, Bonesaw is, so I don't really see this match. Bonesaw is just going to wallop up either side, but... I guess on this side, it's kind of a bit too late when scouts are... Hmm. I guess, I guess that answers my question. Um, Zeta 2 must certainly be uh, a more impressive sequel to Zeta 1. Yes! <laughs> he's not messing around again. He's, you know, all the center up. He's, you know... So he's actually starting to build knights here, you see? Knights are, like, generally the preferred units because they're just so strong. They get lots of damage in pretty early. But um, the cav archers here. Now the cav archers have been attacked, which is ideally not what you want. And so as you see, they kind of got to like run away a little, then shoot. Um, he now bone saw did get fletching, so that's nice. That's going to increase their damage a little. Um, but Zeta got the horse attack armor and the knight armor upgrades. And if like if these cav archers go up against the knights. They're probably not going to win unless you can just keep like hitting, run away, hitting, running away, hitting, run away. But obviously, <laughs> if you focus on your cover archers and you're hitting, run away, that's going to take time away from you building your base and potentially building villages and stuff. 
As I was mentioned at the top here, you got like you see the the hammers with forty five and then the hammer with forty two. Right at the top. That's the villager count, and then above that is the army count. So Zeta got ten army and Bonesaw got four. So, um, oh, that's what those numbers mean. Yes. <laughs> there you go. And another villager goes down from Bonesaw, so that was a nice, you know. And you you kind of might might have heard me like harping on a bit in, in campaign about like how important it is to kill villagers over army a lot of the times because obviously if you kill the villagers. The economy slows down, meaning they can, you know, make less army. Yeah. Well, then, um, well, yeah, at, at that point, your eco would be re reduced. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Just. We it's gonna be okay, but, uh, it's quite a mess. Um, these camel riders here, they counter, they counter knights and, and cavalry, so, oh, that went down really oh. quick. Now. Yeah, it's kind of gone with a knight and camel riders. Now, I don't think these cavalchers are going to do much against the knights because they're so heavily... Out Look at that, they just... They're gone. They're done. Oh. So, that's why I feel... Um, Bonesaw should have just made knights instead, but... There's our manga now coming out, which... Now, he's losing a lot of villagers, you see this? Um... He's making camel riders now, Bonesaw, but, you know, look at the damage, uh, they've killed... Yeah, it might be a little too late. Yeah. And this is why it's kind of more important earlier on, just like, try and scout your opponent, try and see what's, what what, the, what build they're going for. Um, you kind of get a, like, oh, Mangano goes down, didn't get no value. You kind of get a grasp by seeing, like, what civilization they go for. It's like Mongols, you know, okay, they're gonna be cavalry. They're either going to go fast castle into knights or cav archers, and I think, you know, this case. I think, it's I don't think. It's definitely good to know the builds. Mm hmm. Okay. But this is, this is not looking good for Bonesaw at all. You know, the walls have gone down. Your villagers just. In fact, you've gone down to 27 villagers. And if, it looks like. Okay, you, you still got the one villager building the wall there. That's good. Okay, they, they, they get, okay, so I think his plan now is, I've lost this center, so I'm going to build here and start rebuild my base. But the problem is you, you're having to rebuild your base from scratch, right? And, and you know, your other person is, is fine, so has got no damage, continue, you know, 60 villagers ahead. And uh, this isn't looking, oh no, and now this happens. Um, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm scared for Bonesaw. And he's actually holding his gate open with his cav his camel rider there. So that's just that gate has been useless. And they just walk straight in. Now, this is this inner wall here, but they'll just attack the blacksmith, you know, and the HP on that is gonna go down. Um I did say Zeta was a super aggressive player, and now he's like, uh oh, we gotta fix our blacksmith, but don't go to that gate because the gate will open. So these villages are now kind of useless a bit. Okay, they're going to start chopping words. Oh my goodness. It's like, huh. Okay, they're going for a castle. So, oh, obviously, okay. I think Zeta is going to try and do the same thing as well. Maybe put a castle here or something. He's got, like, villagers just... Now, he can afford to do this, obviously. Just have his villagers stood around. But, um, this blacksmith's going to go down, and this whole stone war is now kind of... kind of useless. <laughs> But it did buy him time just to build this castle at least, and this castle will go up. But. Okay. Oh, okay. They're retreating. High stakes drama. I think I think they wanted mostly just um, take out this gate so they just have a quicker way in. Um, but this is nice by Bones, so he's like, okay, I got time. I'm gonna build, you know, rebuild this wall, which will, will be nice to stop uh, the damage coming in. It's still like a few nights here, and and your villages are really, really hurt. But I genuinely, I think it was a mistake for Zeta to go back there. You know, you just continue to just like kill villagers, right? Yeah. Hey, I big win. Oh, it's a bear. Yeah. Hello. What are you gonna say? Sorry, I was, it's quite oh, invested. I was, uh, I was going to say that I. Oh, it's okay. I don't recall what I was going to say. 
Oh. It sounded interesting. I got so uh, sold on it. I think it's something like. Yeah, it's okay. It happens to me too, right? Because I'm just like. What did I say? <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. I think because, like. So. Zeta obviously pulled his troops back, right? And, and I think we were kind of going on like. We felt like Zeta maybe could have kept his troops in. I think that was kind of the whole tangent. Um, Zeta moves his troops around here and is like, oh. This is the Great Wall of the Mongols. We can't get in here, <laughs> right? And maybe he's going to try and run down here, and he's like, oh, there's another Great Wall of the Mongols. Um, I have a feeling that's exactly what it's going to do. Hi, <laughs> Bam. Thank you for sub subscribing once again. 23 months. Oh, my lordy lord. That's almost two years. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. So there is a way past these walls, obviously, luckily, and that's to build a siege workshop, which Zeta is doing now. I'm going to, you know, maybe produce rams, um... Now he's because of because he's had so much villagers and so much of an eco lead. You can see to the bottom right, he's collected twenty thousand resources over bone source thirteen thousand, so he can click up to imperial age, which is the final age. And when you get that, you can start producing traps from your castle, right? And and you've seen like just how scary traps can be. You know they'll take this castle, they'll take out everything if they're protected. <laughs> Is it possible to just chop down trees and like, and then be able to bypass? Yep. So, oh. what you have to do is, is get a catapult and upgrade the catapult to an onager. And then the siege onager will just chop down these trees. So, again, these walls can only oh. like... I don't think it's... Like, so yeah, by here you could just like, use the onager and chop through these little trees and he'll just bypass this wall. <laughs> Maybe it's something to do with like the, the name of this map, Bypass. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's like kind of like what what they wanted to happen, maybe. And and but I've I've never seen it be done. So I just see mostly on this map, I just see people just go aggression for the middle, they break the walls, and just flood the base, and that's it. It's game over. But um, yeah, Zeta's like decided here. Just, just oh, so he guess the wall upgrade at least. So it's an even bigger wall of the Mongols. Um, of course, it's only going to slow down your enemy so much. Inban <laughs> says, I think you can get villagers to do it too if you really want. Yeah, you just, like, obviously here you just, like, maybe put, like, a lumber camp, like, by here and just suddenly, like, you know, obviously the villagers only have to cut through this, so it's not going to take long. And especially, like, the faster you age at, oh god, Bone Story's just like, huh, you're going to get through this wall? I'm going to build another wall. This <laughs> is... But his villager's on the wrong side, so he's going to wall his villager in, and they're just going to kill the villager as oh, well. Oh, no. <laughs> Bonesaw, big oh, brain no. moments. <laughs> Bonesaw, big brain moments. Uh. I mean, Bonesaw has had the spirit. It, it just feels like the others in the group are just, like, you know, a, a step ahead. So, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of expecting Zaya to win this set because, you know, it it's just Zaya is so aggressive because anything can happen. You know, and it will happen. So this game seems to, um, or, or at least the competitive uh, online portion of the game seems to favor ag aggressive tactics, at least a lot of the time, I noticed. Yeah. I think, because, like, if you can just get in there and your opponent hasn't built... Um, a mangano. If you haven't built, like... Any army, obviously your your enemy's just gonna kill your your villagers, and then you'll have no villagers. Then you just be like, oh, um, okay. It's about finding the right balance, though, you know, because obviously, if you start building an army, you've got to use those resources to build your army, and then you you get less from villagers, meaning your economy is gonna be slower. So, it's just about finding the balances and finding value. So, like, you know, at the start, if you can make like three scouts, that costs like. I don't know how much it costs actually, just out of me, but maybe like 60 food or something times three. So you'll invest like 180 food into those um, scouts. And then those scouts will run into the other side and maybe like pick off villagers. Each villager is worth like 50 food. So if you can kill like three villagers with the scouts, that'll like annoy your enemy, slow them down and, and just like. Yeah. So this, this is, this really is the great wall. Of, oh, okay. Oh, they, they were building walls and not building walls anymore because the castle's gone up and it's just gonna... Oh no, Bonesaw. Run! Run, Bonesaw! And the thing with the walls is it can only hold off somebody for so long, you know, before they start battering, you know. And, it, and Bonesaw's like, okay, you break these walls, 
I think it's time for us to build a new wall by here. <laughs> oh my goodness. And he's going to build a castle oh, as well. Balls. But again, the problem is his economy is so low, he's not an imperial age. He has nothing to really counter the trabs. Because Zeta will just protect the trabs, and then the trabs will just fling rocks over. Does Bulbasaur intend to build murder jerks? <laughs> I think, he, I think he just wants to live a peaceful life. Now, talking of the trebuchets, here they are, they're hitting the castle. Oh, and no. What could Bonesaw do? He's so far behind in the economy, he's just trying to mine this stone to build more walls. Um, yeah, this castle's gone, and these units are just going to start flooding in, they're going to kill everything he got. This side, going to hold for now, but he can all F her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, th this this game is really important because like whoever loses is gonna be knocked out of the competition. Um, yeah, um, it's a death match, you could say. Yep, <laughs> you were waiting to shoot on that one in one. You. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> I'm I'm with uh, just in case somebody's just tuning in now. I'm with Camera Zone. Oh. Hello. Also a streamer. Give you a shout out. Sell sell out. Yeah. Shout out, Marizone. There you go. And yeah, it's like the first time you're, you're like, cast it, co casting things. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Now, I did oh. say about the. the, the uh. Again, <laughs> you just get Zeta's arm again and you're like, uh. Uh oh. I don't, know, I, I don't know if I could deal with that if mm. I was Bonesaw. No, I, I wouldn't. I'd just be like, okay, um, I'll take four of this. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> I think the problem is, you know, he lost a lot of villagers in the beginning and then ever since he's just playing catch up. And and, and the thing is, he's still in Castle Age. Zeta's got like crabs out, knocking down his castles, knocking down his buildings. Um, He, he actually deletes his walls there. Uh, I want to see what happens. I'm just going to rewind the, the footage a bit. So yeah, um, for some reason, Bonesaw like, selected all of his walls and just deleted them. Oh, that was totally an accident. It no, could have totally an accident. It could have been. But <laughs> Accidentally pressed the delete button. <laughs> he, he does have some camel um, camel riders here to like try and counter the... Maybe he was worried about them getting stuck or something, but either way... You, you put lots of stone into building those walls, and now they're all gone. And Gigi's cold, and then... He just laughs, says Gigi and laughs. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think he's pretty chill at the moment. Just... Bonesaw's sort of just living his life, you know? <laughs> that, was, that was a good game. Yeah. Um, maybe not so much for Bonesaw, so, but... <laughs> <laughs> but at least he was laughing at the end of it, right? You know, so... Say so it's the best of three, so it's, it's kind of if Zeta gets the next rounds, the uh, next game, that he'll win the, the set, which I mean, you know. Sweet. Now look at the statistics. Uh, the yeah, score. Graphs. Yep, there you go. You like graphs, don't you? You just see, yeah, you look at this graphs. graph and you're like, well, there's, apparently there's so much purple, it looks like it was a one sided game. You could say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, around the 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 um you can see where it kind of dropped off yeah. and i think that's around where you mentioned there was a uh was it that happened it was it was like a mistake that bonesaw made and then that kind of like affected the rest of the game i think um he held like the gate open or something and, and some archers got in or something like that but... yeah i think that's around where that yeah, and then he started losing villages because like the 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 troops started getting into his base, and then and then like he just wasn't able to, uh, you know, get back into it. You lose the villages and you just fall behind. Uh, the military, the kill death for Zeta was five point nine two, which is ow, ow indeed. That's, that's massive. Yeah, it's just total dominance from Zeta. Unfortunately, you know, even economy. Phone cell collects twenty four. Zeta forty thousand. Uh. <laughs>
All right, but we shall see what happens in game two. Maybe Bonesaw was just, uh, you know, not fully into it just yet. But um, in game two, we're going to quarry, and Bonesaw has changed his color to red. Now we have to change it back to blue. Oh. Maybe feels changing color, or, you know, increases oh, chances. Oh. There we go. Oh. Purple Saracens. <laughs> so we got Zeta 2 as the Saracens. Again, like another another cavalry civilization. And we got Bonesaw as the Burgundians. Um, I don't actually know too much about them. Apart from they're French. <laughs> um, so on this map, you know, again, it's another one of these maps where a lot of action takes, like, like you know, a lot of action that goes down the middle. Because got, you've got this stone, and you've got a lot of, like, you know, deers and stuff. So, this tends to, the action tends to be like really down the center of this. And um, what you should do is that, like, when you can, after, you know, you pull in all the, the food and stuff, like, aim and build like wooden walls from, you know, there to there, just to block the middle. Um, the, the thing about this map is that on the sides, you've got this really thin layer of, of wood. So, maybe you can like wall up the middle, protect the middle, or the enemies in the middle. And you can break through these this wood line and then sneak around and attack the enemy base. So it's, it's quite, you know. Ah. No, we're in ban. Um. So yeah, I, I think, again, though, it's, it's going to fall down. Well, Bonesaw might get some walls down, so that'll slow down Zeta a lot. But it feels like Zeta is just going to go again with the aggression and just be a bully. I wonder. I wonder if Zeta 3 is going to be even more aggressive. Like, is it going to be like, is it going to be like the moment Zeta gets out of the, out of the woodwork? It's just like, yeah, I'm taking out every single thing you have. Yeah. Or maybe it goes into like a more, def more defensive state, right? And just suddenly just like builds walls everywhere like Bonesaw. It's like, oh, Bonesaw's been building walls, so so am I. But, um, again, let's say... So every time on these maps, you're, you're going to start with two bows. It's, it's kind of like... So you said about like carnivorous animals not being able to uh, be hunted from, but you see Zeta jumped in the town center there, right? And was using his arrows from the town center to hit the bow. Um, the problem with that is if you stay in the town center for too long and your arrows kill the bow, then you can't harvest from it. Or if your scout kills the bow. You you to be able to harvest from something you have to kill it with villagers. Now sometimes as well, the the bone saw could technically see this boar and kill it just to deny the extra resources of a uh, Zaya, but it, it's not happened. I don't think it's it's really um you know it's kind of like looked down on a little bit. <laughs> like you kill my boar, how could you? But, um, oh, <laughs> it's like a has, dirty tactic. Yeah, yeah. Like I seen it where. <laughs> This, this one player snuck a villager and, and a scout over it, walled around the, the boar, and then used the villager to get its low health, deleted the wall, and killed it with the scout. And it's just like... Hi, Joel. Yeah, so Joel, I'm all for walls and boom. I'm terrible with fuel, fine. Yeah. Like, as I say, some players, like, right now will aim to, like, just... Um, you've got, like, several builds, but the most common is, um... Like, Fast Castle is where you just wall up and just try and, like go to Castle Age as fast as possible without, like, well, in Age 2, like, to, like, like, kind of put down stables to make scouts, and then use the scouts to try and get some damage. Or they can go with archers and stuff. And obviously, obviously, there there are, like, you know, so many builds, and I'm, I'm still learning them. I, I don't really... I don't know. Now... Both players, again, have been really passive from the start. They're, 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 like, with some of the higher players, you'll see, like, the scouts go into the woodline there and start, like, hitting these villagers just to, like... They do. They do. It's just... I've, they're very important to keep alive, though, as well. I think that's the thing. And in Dark Age, they're, they're slightly weaker in Dark Age as well, up until you get to the next age. I believe. I could be wrong. But, um... Um... I've always been a little curious... About the two bars on the top there. Yep. Is that? Can you like 
win if like like is that are those both different win conditions um so which bar is it like the one in the middle there yeah the, it, the it's like the gauge the one that shows how many villagers they have and otherwise yeah it's just it just like so if the bar goes to the left it means bonesaw will have like you know more villagers and the, so the bottom one is like the villager like can't visualize so you got 20 so they're perfectly in half right because 20 20. um you see like these little chevrons there that means that means somewhere along the line got villagers well it's gone down but there was villagers not doing anything so i'm <coughs> sorry okay there because because he had two villagers idle there because he tried to attack the scouts which is actually a bit attacked by the tc um so yeah it's just obviously it's the numbers on either side visualized you know so maybe so the, the reason they're both like half of the middle is because you know they both have 20 villagers they both have one one army which is the scout so it Right now, it's even. Gotcha. So it's not necessarily win conditions. No, no. It's just the it's just the amount of villagers. The, the bottom one is the amount of villagers they got visualized. So, you know. There we go. Joel says, Dark Age Scout only has free attack and cannot attack animals. Villagers can kill it pretty easily. There we go. But they can sometimes pick off weak villagers. And then now they've, they've all gone up to second age. Um, there's also these small bars over here. You see the, the two, the red and the other one? Yeah. Now, that's, um, the amount of, like, the top one is food. So when, when you, like, you get enough food to go into feudal the next stage, the red bar will be full, and the bottom is gold. So to go up to the next stage, I don't know the exact number, let's just make it like, after, like, you need 200 gold, 800 food to go up to castle age. Um, so when the bar, those two bars are full, it means they're ready to go up to the next stage. But you got these little two um, purple cubes as well here, or blue cubes. So you see, it just filled up. That means, um, well, to go up to the next stage as well, you need to like build buildings, like certain buildings. So for this, it would be like a barracks and archery range, and that means you have enough buildings then to go up to the next stage. But obviously, he doesn't have enough resources at the moment. <laughs> so complicated, right? Well, this is, you know, so bone saw is is, is actually you know. Block in the middle, which is, you know, very bone saw. I expected this. Yes, that's a very bone saw thing to do. Yeah. So, and you see the bar here in the middle, it's like 24 villages, 23, so it's just slightly more now for Sata, but, you know. And you see, like, this this image where it's, like, got the, the person leaning against the wall, like a one. This looks okay. Now it's gone down to zero. It's like kind of at the top there. That means um, idols. So like, you could have like twenty-four villagers there and one idol. It means just one of the villagers. Somewhere around it is not set to a resource or anything. Just being a lazy oh, villager, which is bad. You don't want idols, you know, ideally. <laughs> okay, this is the idol here. Just see, it's not re like collecting any resources. It's just kind of the villagers. Uh, in this case, it's it's not a bad thing. The villagers go into obviously build a scout tower, so obviously you know you're gonna have an idol in that case. But um, oh, talking okay. of so aggression, when you know yep, go on. So, sorry, I was gonna say when you know about it, yeah, then then it's not so bad. Yeah, but some people have like kind of like there's a level, there's a certain like around the silo as well, is where people can only kind of like focus on one thing. So they'll be looking forward like attacking but then they'll forget about their economy and stuff so mm. so i did say zaya was aggressive so he did put down two archery rangers and he's using his scout to just s use these archers like i think he was hoping to just sneak in and start attacking villagers but um yeah he's, he's got the, the, the stone walls up which is actually quite a bit of stone investment but then you know houses to plug the gaps and the reason they use like houses and stuff and mills on the front line is because Obviously, to go up to the next stage, for instance, you need to build a barracks, you need to build a stables. And um, normally you'd have palisade walls. I can't. No one's building palisade, which is like wood walls. But um, houses have more HP than the wood walls, and plus you have to build houses anyway, so it just makes sense just to make them part of your wall, you know? Yeah, I mean, not doing that would be a weird choice if you think about it that way. 
Now, this is actually quite important here. So, luckily, Bonesaw has got a scout tower down. He can see Zeta is trying to be sneaky. And now Zeta is in. He chopped. Remember I was saying about people chopping them through the sides? Yeah. This is exactly what Zeta has done right now. And he's like, okay, I can't get through these walls, so I gotta go through the sides. And he's... he's <laughs> well, now he's in. Which is bad. So Bonesaw, you know, luckily seen this from the, the... The kind of scout tower, but... He's kind of not reacted on it. Quickly. Enough. And now, this is gonna be a fight. I fight! I don't know if he was ready for it. Nope. And he was all like, I got walls in the middle, I'm safe. Oh no. It's actually... Uh, I don't even know who's winning this. Well, okay, obviously, two horses go down. And I think Bonesaw needs to just continue fighting at this point because, well, I don't know, maybe running was a good thing. It, it just felt like, you know, this... So many weak archers, you could have maybe killed some more. And just... It's going to take a, a little time. Okay, well, he, I don't know, actually. That, that... I don't know, my brain... Hmm. <laughs> well, he's got he's got scouts anyway, more scouts. So yeah. Now the problem is he's he's lost with the he you know. He's like, where are they? Where are they? Where are they gone? Where are the enemy? Is he gonna? There we go. Now he sees them. Once again. We're seeing some good micros from Zeta. Yep. Oh, there we go. What's that? Let's, oh. But he has left his kind of. All his arches are weak, and I think they're gonna get cleaned. So they are. They, they, they kind of pulled the scout a bit further up, and, and he left his arches like exposed kind of to these scouts. Yeah. It was a good run. Yeah. Anything to like kind of like destabilize. Um, although he didn't get no villager kills, which is like ideally. Now, this is sneaky. Bonesaw is like, oh, yes, oh, 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 yes, Bonesaw is like, phew, right, uh, I'm going to get some damage of my own and, and kill these villagers. Oh, that's no. so funny. My problem is, uh, maybe Bonesaw thinks he's safe. And, now, this is actually a good thing to go and through and hit the villagers. But, now, Bonesaw might be too caught up in trying to kill these villagers. And he might not realise that this is happening. And like two villagers... Me. Now, he does react now, because obviously he moves the scouts. But, um, the problem with Zeta... Oh wait, no, it's no problem. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong side. I did. I thought he didn't have Fletching, but he does. Yes. Zeta's going up to Castle Age. And, and Bonesaw is lacking a lot of food. Um, a lot of idols just stood around there. He killed the horses. And again, the problem is he... Okay, he, he had to use a lot of his f food, like building scouts to defend from this attack, right? So that that meant he's uh, s slowed down going to Castle because he needs to get more food. But um, now Zeta's done enough damage to the point where he's gonna like go up to Castle Age, but Bonesaw is because obviously Bonesaw is like trying to stop this attack and having to invest resources into this attack, and he's losing villagers a lot. This is uh, pretty bad. I think, yeah, I think the loss in villagers is the main thing that Bonesaw is having an issue with yeah. with these um, uh, matches with his data. Yeah, and and because he's like, because the enemy's there, he's, he's having to keep producing these cavalry who keep dying, and that means Bonesaw is having to put more and more food into making the calves and going to stay in feudal, and then it's, it's kind of like a vicious cycle because you're causing. Bonesaw to continue to invest in making scouts. When he, when he, like, now he's almost got enough food, though, at least, to go up to, to Castle Age 2. Zeta 2. <laughs> no, Castle Age 2. Um, Castle Age 2. <laughs> it's equal to Castle Age 1. Uh, so there we go, he clicks up to Castle Age at least, but. Yeah, so. He was hoping to get to Castle Age a lot faster, but obviously, you know. So that's exactly what happened there. Zeta come in and started, you know, hitting his villagers. And then Bonesaw had to, like, keep making scouts to just, you know. Uh-oh, this is bad. Now, the way you counter those horses is with these guys, obviously. Spearmen. And 
once again. Um, the scouts went in, they didn't do nothing, they died instantly, kind of waste of food for Bonesaw, and now... I think if Seta comes through the side again, well, it's actually walled up this time. That's nice. And <laughs> Bonesaw is like, I'm not going to take any chances, I'm going to wall up this side too. So, now Bonesaw is, is mostly safe again, which is a relief. What's nah. Seta going to do now? Seta is going to try and push for this side again, but he's going to see walls eventually. But okay. It worked two times. Let's go in a third time. But... Yeah, that there's a wall. That may be uh, Zeta's um, biggest strength and biggest weakness is doing the same thing repeatedly. Yeah, it could be. Um, oof. This could be a this could be a weakness of Bonesaw as well. Like maybe if you got like the stone walls down here, because now the houses are much weaker. So like the the the, the walls here, they have like eighteen hundred HP, and the houses only have nine hundred. So <laughs> once again, Zayter is gonna break through this side and once again be into Bonesaw's base where he's gonna be under attack. Now Bonesaw is doing a good thing here. I think at least knights are gonna be good. Um, into Cavalier, but he only has one knight, so this a lot of resources went up to uh, upgrading into Cavalier. But the problem is you only have one one knight, so... And this this has been a big gripe of Bergwins, actually. People not having a, a big enough army. Um, before, you know, they have their... their <laughs> before they go up their cav upgrades, so... Imban sees... Imban... is becoming more big brain. Um... Almost out oh, now. More villagers gonna go down here, right? Maybe or not. Just survive, actually. That's really nice. Wololo, hey yo. Wololo. I love that song so much. Now this is actually, you know, say it's micro and it's like mad, but. Uh. Hmm. Will it be enough? Yes, actually. <laughs> and that this falls down, like, maybe if he didn't go with the, the knight upgrades, he could have had more knights down, which would have, like, maybe cleared this up. Again, though, he's, he's going to start at least producing some more calves. Well, at least he got the upgrade, at least. But the question is, can he survive to where he can get enough calves? And he's sending one cav over here, which, at the moment, maybe you want to keep him back just to try and defend this. But, um... Maybe he's going to see if he can snipe some villagers, which actually he is. Okay. But this is a problem again, because your villagers are getting killed. And yeah, you know, that may have not been. <laughs> okay. Oof. It's actually really, really nice positioning by, by uh, Zeta there to go, like, because obviously you go right in between these buildings. It means only one, one cav can attack you at one time. But all these archers can attack the cav, right? So that's actually really, really good positioning. Wow. I just want to see what this cav is doing. I didn't recognize that there would be tactical positioning around the buildings. Right? It's... it's Advanced it's, gameplay. It's, it's so weird because, like, at its core, it's really lightweight to get into this game. Like, yeah, it's a little, like, a little complicated. But I don't know, it's so casual, but then... Like when you go, the more deeper and deeper down the 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 hole you you go, the more like you're like, oh my god, this actually is so much like to everything. Um, yeah. So during this time as well, Zeta's gone out to the middle and started mining this gold. It can be as casual as you want in ban, right? You can go against you know AI and not not give a crap about multiplayer, and, and you know that's pretty casual, right? <laughs> I've been casually playing, just, you know, taking my time, building up my base, no worries. Living life. I mean, how serious can you be having a battle on a Pokeball? Yeah! <laughs> I was actually going to bring that up to you earlier. I was like, so what does this map look like? <laughs> but yes. I know my video is the MC. No, I'm, j I'm, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm no, it's, kidding. It's, it's, it's just a Palmon. Yeah, there we go. A pal, a pal, a uh, pal ball. <laughs> yeah, I, I think AOE one is the players are much like a lot more slower, and it is obviously more more barren compared to AOE two. 
And then AoE 3, I don't know. I didn't really like it. And Chimera, you, you, you played it quite a bit, right? Well, yeah. I, 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 I'll be honest, I preferred this a lot more. Yeah, yeah like AoE 3 has a lot... It's, it's got almost too much going on, if I'm being honest. Like, I, 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 there's features that I'm like, why is this here? Like, what really on me was, like, the, like why they tried to shoehorn the cards in, into, like, upgrading and, like, selecting the, the cards yeah, for that. each it's that like was the worst. That, that definitely just interrupted with the gameplay, and I just didn't vibe with that at all. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I get you in, man. I get you. Damn. And this attack kind of goes to nothing. <laughs> Bonesaws. <laughs> I'm going to build more walls, I guess. <laughs> I like Bonesaw for the spirit he has with the walls, right? He's, he's just so much spirit. Uh, well, he can throw away his cows because he got walls, right? But now Zaya too is going to build this castle really up against them. Um, right up against them. I think Zaya too is going to use the castle to hit this, this house and... Boom, the walls are nothing because they are in again. <laughs> this has been a, a very Zeta 2 um, heavy set of games. Yep. Yeah. As I say, as I say, like, you know, Bo Boonstar is nice. He. he he gets his walls down and you can see he has some like you know skill and stuff it just it feels like the other three players are just more more on, on like another level if that makes sense like I, I don't you know obviously i don't mean to say like anything bad to bones so just oh, it just you know it feels like the other three are just like you know more seasoned no way i do believe that goes into having uh particularly effective game is when you've got the experience behind you but yeah at the same time for those who like don't have the experience behind them of course you would you want to do those things where you're you make the mistakes so then that way you can get that good you know mm -hmm. yeah exactly and like it also falls down to like the maps well some people like you know they got like busy lives on going you know they got families they got you know this that and and like it's kind of like one of those things where if you don't practice the maps like practice playing on the maps you might like you might even know you're playing on a pokeball you'd be like huh what the hell what's going on here i've seen like a few games where players like have spent like resources on walling like the sides down here at the beginning of the game when obviously you you, you, you don't really need to because there's like a wood line here but um yeah i mean you know and some people just enter the tournament casually and this whole you know whole lot of reasons and, and it's okay it's like all right <laughs> you know bone still, still got his walls doesn't have his houses because they're going down but you know because you got your walls the walls though they'll stand you never forget the walls <laughs> i mean no mclean but still got <laughs> <laughs> i want to be like mclean one day i want to grow up to be mclean <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just want all the walls everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Triple the wall. Uh, and I think this is again a very difficult position for Bones to be in. Does have the, does have twelve knights cows? Sorry. But, uh, like the problem is you've walled up, you kind of protected yourself, but this gives Zeta all this gold and Zaya could be technically pulling back the relics as well you know because if you garrison the relics in a monastery you start generating like a passive gold income as well which is also super helpful i i sorry big win i didn't i didn't i wanted to but i kind of you know so many games to cast yes Let's go, Bonesaw! The Bonesaw's bringing the rams! Damn! They're gonna roll in and... Well, there's a lot of troops garrisoned in here, so they're probably gonna roll in and just crumble. Oh! Oh, actually, this is this is actually generally good, so... Yeah. 
bringing in petards here as well. So they're going to like actually thing around the rams. Oh no. So they, they blow up into the castle and they take a lot of health off the castle too. So actually, suddenly, this is a, a good move by Bone Swords, bringing in another petard. And it is killing villagers. And wow, Bone Swords just come out of the blocks. This. <laughs> Bone Swords like, huh, you're going to call me a noob, huh? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> However, you know, it's still this massive archer. Like, I think it clears this up. It's a wow. <laughs> okay, so Bone Saw is the favorite in this game, right? I think Bone Saw is going to. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, was, that was a great play. Yeah. 100%. Actually, I really like that using the Rams and then. Well, look, this petard is like. Now, I like this petard. He knows the castle's down, so he's like, oh, I don't have to sacrifice myself, so I can just go home to the tavern and drink. <laughs> I think this petard yes. was wise. You know, the, all his friends. Oof. But, uh, yeah. Uh, you get to live another day. Yeah, and actually in this position, you know, Bonesaw got 88 villagers. Sayer's got less now. And he needs to find a way now to just galvanize this into, like, you know, continuing this push and not letting Zeta 2 get back into this game. Zeta 2 is like, oh, I see walls. Okay, I'm going to make walls too. Which is, like, again for Zeta, maybe you just want to put the walls here, right? Because it's, this is actually a longer stretch of walls. And I, I you do... you kind of wall out the Sorry. relic, the golds, and the stone. And go on, what do you say you, you do? I, I agree with Gwyn here, with uh, Bonesaw maybe needing to be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, because again, these villagers are kind of still exposed. You can, you know, at least be hitting them to get them pushed in, but... Now this is giving time for Zeta to just kind of build counters to the the cav cavalier. Mm. <laughs> of course, he gets the wall upgrade because of course. <laughs> but um, now again, we did see that this side is walled up, so these these cav are just gonna run in here and be like, "Surpro!" Oh, oh, there's walls. Wait, oh, only I'm <laughs> only I can wall. This isn't fair. Uh. But yeah, what's, what this is doing is just allowing Zaya to, you know, time to at least build some cow units. Um, well, my walls are bigger than yours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine are even bigger. That's, yeah. Zaya just... Perhaps Zaya 2 walls were actually pretty good in the end, because if you did try and build wall down, maybe these cow would have flooded in. But... Yeah, so Saracens have really good camels, and obviously camels are, are really good at, like, countering, like... Oh, in this game, anyway. Apparently, camels just, like, spit on the knights, and the knights die. But... <laughs> wow. Impressive. Um, so, he, he's kind of, like, building a lot in halbs when he could just be making camel riders, but... But once again... Uh, feels like a lot of army mass... This army is, is kind of out of the fight, right, for Bones, so he's not gonna... He needs to bring these back or something, just because... Ah, uh, once again, Zeta puts down the castle. And we're back to square one. Okay, Bergwin oh. confirms horses <laughs> don't like camel smells. <laughs> that makes well, sense. That's a new fact, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> well, well, there you go. And he's gonna invest a lot... Now, Paladin is the final um, final form, you know, if they're Digimon. The Paladin would be the final oh. form of these knights. But the problem is it costs, like, a, a big one, I'll say in chat, like, a lot of resources. I think it's t 1,200 food and 750 gold. And obviously with 1,200 food, you could be making a lot more army. And of course, um, traps start coming out now for Zeta, which is going to say, in this castle, and it kind of feels like we're back... And, it really bugs me this army here because look, they're just idle, right? They could be running back at least trying to help. Can they cost 1300 food and 750 for the paladin upgrade? Which is. And and this is the problem now because Bonesaw is like, this this tactic worked once before, so I'm going to do it again. But. Oh, he does take down two trebs with, with the siege rams. Maybe three. Actually, I forget that. That, that. That's a good. That's a good win. Like, when, like yeah, it's not going to take down the castle, but that was really nice to destroy. <laughs> I'll be angry if I was there, like losing three traps to just those sea drams. I'm like, oh my lord. 
Good gravy. Indeed. Um, now, again, uh, just going to point this out. Zeta has a monastery, has a monk here. And you can use this monk to get these relics, which is one, two, three right here. Bring the relics back into the, the monastery. And you'll constantly have some gold coming in. But Zeta 2 is like, no, I'm just going to let old um, monkey muck monk face just chill over here. So, that's, um, all right, so there's actually a huge mass of paladins now, which is nice. And we're going to see what they do. Drama! In all due fairness, so, um, the monks, having the monks out is nice at converting, at converting the paladins, but... Uh, now... I'm not sure... Where Bones... Why Bones have run back? Did he lose his whole army? No. Again, these... These... <laughs> paladins still... <sighs> still doing nothing. Castle goes down again. Um, these are doing nothing. Oh, that's right. He garrisoned all his par... Like... <laughs> so... Honestly... If, if he just uses every single paladin they got now and just pushes down this middle, I think Zeta 2 has got no way to stop this. But for some reason he stops. Okay, now he's going to go back, but that's like... No! Attack! Use them all to attack! And and this is bad because he's only bringing like a handful forwards and leaving these handful back, which is like, oh, Why don't! Don't! Don't oh, do that! Uh... And, and these, again, are still silly. doing nothing. Um... It really bugs me, these... these just, just. Um, okay, the Patards guys are going to come in now and go boom. Uh, well, I hope not, because... Can they just go back and just start drinking those kegs of beer instead? <laughs> I really don't want them to sacrifice themselves. They're cool. Yeah. They're my homies. Yeah. But, yeah, bones are again, just... Just freezes. <laughs> Now, on paper, this should be all... This sh don't send... He's only sending in five. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, come on. Like, okay, he wants to keep these back just to, like, defend the traps, but... Honestly, if you rush the paladins in here, all of this dies. It's all dead. There's nothing... Zeta 2 can do. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of times... Oh! Okay, here we go. Okay, he he must be really go. scared of castles. I think he sees his castle and he's like, Ah! Oh. And oh, actually, you know, in all fairness... <laughs> there's my clapping. That was a good job, Bonesaw! We were really doubting Bonesaw, but look, Bonesaw's like, actually, <laughs> my wall still stand tall. I'm Bonesaw. I don't lose. I fight. But it's definitely, you can see like the moments of hesitancy, maybe not sending the, the troops in the right areas and kind of, you know, stuff like that, which Bonesaw, like, it, think about though, if Bonesaw actually improves in those areas, he's going to be a really, really solid player, right? Well, certainly. But, um, I think so. And you see there towards like late game, he held off the attacks, and then suddenly, you know, he's got the paladins. And and apart from being scared when you got like a, a good army advantage, um, yeah. He just needs to get over his castle phobia. You should be fine. Yeah. Uh. So actually, look now. This chat is more bone saw, which is nice. You know, I think they both just cruise along. Now, I think for the third game, if Zeta, Zeta to, to have a real good chance, it needs to be like an open map where there's no walls at the start, where there's no like wood lines where you can just get in there and attack, you know, without fear of anything else. And the third match is going to be Zeta 2's choice. So we're going to have to see if that, that's how the, the third game plays out. But once again, thank you so much for joining me, Kamara. It's so, so fun to have you around. Yeah. You're the best. You're the best. No, you. <laughs> so, this is, this is redemption from Bonesaw. 
and 1.75. The inbound says, I actually am in a situation in a game of mine. Okay, this is for you, Chimera. Where Imban has to decide between cowardice or bold smiting. It's worse since I'm up against birds too. <laughs> All right, you you can give him bad advice. <laughs> um, well, I'm not a huge fan of the cowardice option. <laughs> is the bold smiting? Is that gonna? I, I'm just hoping that's the better option. Because I mean, I don't know. Is it? Are they angry birds? Are the birds <laughs> angry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know enough about the situation. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just see like you know words like that and just think, huh? Camera probably knows. <laughs> and Kamara's like, no, no, I need to know much more about this situation. I'm like, but why? There's cowardice and bull smite, and what more do you need? Oh, and birds. What more do you need to know? <laughs> well, it looks like I'm ban. I am ban. I'm ban. I am ban. Already made the right choice. <laughs> So this is funny because I've I've known Inban for like so many years now. Um coming up to like eight years, nine years. Um and I always say Inban, but I, I do actually think Inban's name like is really how it's really said is I'm ban, but <laughs> 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 I just kept saying Inban and I like it that way, so <laughs> uh, that's what makes me happy. No, it's really I'm no, it really is not. Okay, okay, it's not. Phew. Phew. That's why he's still my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you'd have to ban him if that's what they call it. Uh, so, like, you will be able to see this, um, but on, on stream, I've just pulled up the chart of, like, you know, the current standings in the group, you know. Uh, and, and third and fourth place is kind of now tied. But, well, it means Bonesaw. Uh, We'll still have a chance. Well, as I said, either whoever wins is, is going to be like, you know, whoever loses, sorry, is going to be knocked out. So, on to game three, we go. Now, now this kind of scares me a bit because, um, Bone Sir, well, no, because in game two, he was red, right? And he's going red again. So maybe it's, it's the colors. Like the first game he played, he was blue, right? And he lost. But then the second game, he was red, he won. And now he's thinking, okay, red. I'll be able to win this because I'm red. Uh, <laughs> the problem is is that Bone Saw has gone with Vikings. Uh, Vikings tend to be more of a naval uh, naval civilization. And Yeah, I'm not sure how good that's going to do here. <laughs> there, there's, yeah. There's models. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there are ways to make Vikings work on, on land. But... Whenever I've seen their special units be used, it, they've always just got like destroys, and I, I don't really, I don't really value like. So from from castles, when you get castles up, you can build unique units to the civilizations, and it just feels like the Vikings. I think they they build berserkers, and whenever I see the berserkers, they just get hit once and they die. Bone Sir in chat said, "Sorry if I seem room there," but Zaya said, "No problem." So that so you know maybe Bone Sir was like, "Come on, let's go! I want to win the game free." Or maybe it was just like, hi, sorry if I seem room there. I, I, we, we don't know the, the chat before, sadly, because it happened before the recording. So, yeah. And Zeta 2 is playing as the Gajaras, which is, uh, actually, I, I, don't, I don't know nothing about the Gajaras. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. That's, oh, it seemed like maybe Bonesaw says ready and, and said ready with an exclamation mark, like ready. Instead of a question, like putting a question mark, he clarifies uh -huh. here. I wanted a question mark. really polite. <laughs> 14, start the game already. Yeah. So 14, when I said good, oh no, it was good. He was saying good. Like we're getting to the bottom of this. So somewhere, instead of saying like, <laughs> I like phone so it's like, at least like, you know, it's like, do you know when you make a mistake and it's, it's not as like, like, <laughs> It's not as bad as it seems, but like in your head, you're like, oh my god. Or if the other person took it like as if I was like angry or something, and, and you just make like a big mo like mountain out of a molehill. I think that's what's happening with Bonesaw here. Aww. <laughs> so yeah, so Don't it, worry, bon Bonesaw, it's okay. 
in Bandon Chapter 13, which is a term which goes, start the game already, start the game already, start the game already. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Some people do that just to troll. That's... So yeah, as they say, um... The yacht. One, one. No. My sheep! <laughs> oh, okay. Another... Da, da, da. So... So in this meantime, Bonesaw is... Alright, we just had to rewind it. So Bonesaw is like, oh my god, maybe I've made Zeta mad. You know, don't worry, I'm getting all my sheep. Because, you know, you start off with sheep. On each map, there's like neutral sheep and stuff, right? You know, so you've got two boars, but then around you'll have like sheep, pigs, uh, yeah. sorry, to collect. And and what's happened here is is Bonesaw has brought his, his pigs closer. And Zeta 2 scout, right? If you go near them, you'll take them to your side. And Zeta's just stole Bonesaw's pigs. Ooh, that's sneaky. So it turns out <laughs> Bonesaw is in the evil person. Zeta too is. And. No. Oh! <gasps> he. Now Zeta too, look how close he got to sexually stealing these pigs as well. So close. And then Bones are obviously in chat. My sheep, no, lol. Um, he's gonna use this scout to try and find the, the sheep's like. It's a radius thing if you go like obviously next to this. So I call them sheep, but they're pigs. And Zeta's hiding them right in the corner. You sneaky Animals. Zeta. You sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> and he like Zeta knows in his mind if he tries to bring them back, the bone saw is gonna be like kind of looking for them. <laughs> So this is a lot of mind games going on here. However, um, you know, and obviously we have to remember they, they don't, oh no. So Zeta's like, okay, I'm in the clear. It looks like the scout isn't around anymore. Oh, <laughs> he might accidentally bump this one into this. Oh yeah, he does. So Bonesaw oh. gets his one pig back and he's like, yes. The problem is the friend, the other pig is, is kind of, well, you're gonna lose the one pig. <laughs> no pig, pig lo no. Not my resources. Dang it. And the reason people call them sheep is because like you're so used to like like when you normally start you normally get sheep. So like when when there's pigs and stuff, people are just like, oh no, my sheep. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I find that funny because Bonesaw spent all that time worrying about being like you know. Rude, and then Zeta just goes and do does that, which you know, <laughs> well, it's not rude per se, but it's kind of like you know, it is a little bit rude. It's funny though. Know. So he just just proves anything can happen in Age of Empires. You know, you think you got friends, you think you're kind. Oh, uh, Bonesaw! Well, I messed up my build and lost the Bonesaw. Perhaps if you weren't speaking so much. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. But it's, just, it's, it's all going wrong for Bonesaw right now. Oh, goodness. Poor Bonesaw. Our hearts have suddenly gone with you, you know. You won game two, you've won all of our support. And now it's going downhill. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's all just going downhill. Just, oh. I did forget to say, this is slope. So obviously, you know, there tends to be like a lot of aggression fighting towards the middle but if you're under like if you're getting attacked at your base here you can kind of sneak off to the sides and build like a town set a little like you know get these resources there's some fish in here you've got the deer gold on the one side you've got the gold and then on the other side you got stone and then it's kind of like opposite so on Zeta's side this stone is here for um bone sir but it'll be gold for Zeta um, yeah. Now Boomsaur has decided, okay, we're gonna go with some aggression. My, I, I messed my build up. Finally, drama. I will say, Boomsaur says he messed his build up, but he, he's gone up to feudal age before Sayer. Oh. No. But again, he does have less villages and stuff. Now, if I was Boomsaur, I would. I'm not sure if you can kill this. This. This bull, I think you 
Well, you gotta scout Kevin's low HP. But I would try and do something now just to get back at Zeta, because <laughs> brood. Or maybe, you know. Ooh. Ah. Uh, so the Gajaras, um, they can like you know your mail where you they can like um they can put the pigs inside the, the building to generate just a passive income of food. Oh, that's pretty smart. Yeah, so he he don't have to worry about his pigs being stolen because like the pigs are inside the building. <laughs> Bonesaw, on the other hand, lost his pigs, lost his build order, might be just getting a bit angry. Um, talking of angry though, he's got these guys that are gonna head over to Zeta 2's base. I'm gonna try and. Vengeance! Yep. Here's your chance, Bonesaw, to shine! <laughs> Slowly, but surely. Yeah, you could even yeah, you know that's Ted, that's Jim, that's yep. Frank. Yep. They're all ready to go. Yep. They've been friends for twenty years and you know, they're like, That's right, Zayas base, let's win this for Bonesaw. And then they come. And oh, all the villagers have to run. Bonesaw! We need to get our pigs back. <laughs> now, <laughs> This technically is really bad to do because when you send your your swordsman in, you really again you you don't focus on buildings, but you want to like really kind of focus on villagers, right? Because now these villagers are starting to build a tower, a defensive tower, which is going to shoot arrows. But, um, yeah, there you go. They, they go, and you can garrison your villagers inside these towers. So ideally, Jim Frank and I've got the first one. I'm sorry. Well, you're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. So Jim, Jim and Frank. <laughs> we'll just yeah. check the obituaries later. Yeah, yeah. This is nice though from from Bonesaw. I just feel like if he didn't attack the freaking mill and, and actually start hurting villagers, Zeta's panicking. Zeta's like, okay, get a wall up here, try and stop our, our wall line from being penetrated. <laughs> and uh, well, it seems like it's just Frank now. All his friends are dead. Oh, he tried to wall in this area, but he missed a, a section right oh. here. So they just walled in. However, luckily, you know, Frank, Jim, and the other one, I can't remember his name. Check the obituary. They're all dead. Um, This is awkward. Uh, This is really awkward. Say it's like, okay, the, the attack's over. Namaste. It's not over. You still got a spearman in there killing your villagers. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... Uh, this is kind of like really awkward. Of course, fortunately... <laughs> The villagers are stronger than the Spearman, and now he can finally... There's so much drama which happens in these games, right? You just... Now you know why I'm addicted. It just... <laughs> you know, from like the sheep being stolen, to Bonesaw being like, oh no, my bill's not wrong, and then flooding troops in. And now, I think we're going to see revenge from uh, Zeta 2. I think, well, this is at least premium entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> You thought you signed up to watch a tournament, but surprise, this is a fun tournament. <laughs> this is what I like, though. You know, again, it's, it's a very important game for both of them. You know, whoever loses is going to be knocked out, and they're both just chilling. They're just having, you know, time of their lives. Don't really care. Um, Best way to play. Just like these villagers, they're just doing nothing. <laughs> but, uh, well, if yeah. you had a good time, you already won. Boom. Boom. I I'm just going to take that section. That's it. I'm just gonna buy the field down. And I'm just gonna play that Chimera clip right there. I don't know if you're happy. <laughs> oh no, that's a. These gold gold miners are being harassed. And they got pushed off the gold. Again. They needed that. Yeah. Now, a natural counter to horses, as I said. Spearmen. Now they're like, okay, we're protecting it. And these, uh. It's important for Zeta to keep these alive and just keep them running around and see, and then you can just find more villagers like this. And uh, the spearmen are just chilling. They don't care. They just don't care. Uh, what's going on? They're just taking a little break. Yep. This is good though. The villagers hopped into the TC. But it's kind of, again, a reminder the players of these levels. They're only able to focus, like, one area kind of at once, mostly. So, like, he's probably off, like, trying to set these villagers to the wood line. He's like, ah, oh, life's good. I'm chopping woods. I'm getting food. Ah, my base! And now if Sata goes 
Now, this is the part where I'm saying, if you're getting raided and you move out to the sides, you're in a really good position to, like... I think Zeta needs to realise, like, if, if Zeta goes out to the sides, this game's over, that's for sure. But Zeta's like, no, there's only this base in the middle here. On the side. Okay, he's hiding the pig in the side. <laughs> like, why? It's, it's... Oh my goodness! There's no reason for that. So that he's just hit the pig on the side the whole game. And I guess he's forgot about it now. You know? Nobody forgets what... Well, actually, the bright thing about that, as, as Bone is losing his villager, is this pig is, isn't going to get sacrificed. It's going to live forever. But the problem is he, he, the pig's got no family or anything now because it's all dead, but... At least the, the pig gets to live, right? Kind of like a positive and negative there. Mm. I, I, I think that's a win for pigs everywhere. Yeah. Maybe it's babe. Like maybe that pig is babe. And that's how yes. I kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to survive and be turned into a Hollywood icon and then get rich and then just, you know. Sorry. I was going to go on a weird tangent and I was like, let's start before. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so again, there's lots of cav. They're swarming around. So again, lots of kills. I think, that, again, this is not good for Bones. So, as now, finally, Zeta's going to be like, Oh, there's a base over here. The problem is this base has had time to wall her. And again, it's it's just Bones. So. Again, lots of idols. They're, Maybe, like... They're just kind of, like, waiting in the water. <laughs> yeah, to just... Well, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. But again, it can be super difficult, you know, for someone for Bones Souls level to be like, oh my god, I'm being attacked here, here, here. So, again, it's not easy to defend and, you know, work on your economy and, and then... But this is exactly what Zeta wants, to just keep the pressure, you know, keep the pressure high. Don't give Bones a chance to get back into this game. And, now that's four villagers, six villagers killed. And that, that kind of, that was rough on Zaya. You you lost too many horses in that attack. You did get the, the villager kills, but. Uh, okay, now these spearmen are out. But you got spearmen garrisoned inside as well, which you can maybe try and get out because Inside the building, they're not gonna do too much. Well, maybe, maybe they forgot. Yeah, as I said, they got so much going on, right? And he's building archers, so I think, in Bonesaw's mind, get archers out and start attacking the enemy. Um, cause like, and he's these villagers are idle once again, so he really needs to like take if these villagers look, they're just okay. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna build a mining camp here. Good. Yeah, I can tell that he did forget about it because the moment that they were attacked, he's like, okay, time to use them. <laughs> yeah, time to put them to work. <laughs> uh, you know, the good good news is, at least, Bonesaw is now in Castle Age, so he's a, 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 an age ahead. That's really hard to say, an age ahead. <laughs> I don't know why that's so difficult to say, but he's an age ahead of Zeta, but... An age ahead. I mean, you're just like, no, it's easy to say. <laughs> Leave me alone. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, but that's no fun. <laughs> of course, now Zeta's going to go up to uh, Castle Age as well. So, hmm. Again, lots of archers just... Feels like... Uh, this tower's going to be really nice for Zeta too if the archers come in. Because, you know, you just... No! No! The pig got somewhere along the line. The pig got brought oh. back, but it's still alive. When it's did still... it happen? I don't know. As I said, even for casters, like, you know, like, for us to try and notice things, everything is, is difficult, right? And then the players, like, you know, they're the ones actually, like, you know, in the... So... Now what will happen to babe? <laughs> I think going to be bacon. <laughs> Oh, Actually, it's good. At least bacon is delicious. Yeah, that's true, right? 
And then Chimera's model comes in. As long as everyone's happy at the end, they've won. Well, I guess the pig isn't happy, but... <laughs> now, it felt like this... this uh, oh, this is nice, though, because... In a way, I mean, it's not nice to the fact you're going to lose these archers. But... These archers are going to go over here and find... I'm going to find Narnia. There's nothing there. Um, and this is super bad now because you've got these... I feel like if the archers come out a little sooner, they could have got really good damage. But his archers are coming up here. I think this attack's going to come in and he's going to, like... His archers are going to be distracted. Like, he's not going to be... He's not going to do anything with them. Yeah, look, they're going to Narnia. Um, yeah. And he's, like, trying to put down more town centers. And this t attack comes in. I think this is really dangerous now because... Bones are uh, painful. Lost just lost a lot of villagers there. Eleven villagers killed. Well, this is the this is probably I I the least I I am noticing this performance not to be very good on Saw's part as opposed yeah. to the last match. Yeah, unfortunately. Now again, I did say about these archers. They were they they could go in right now, even if you just put them on stand ground here or somewhere on some resource, just to put this attention away. Because if you're attacking, maybe Zeta 2's gonna be like, oh, I'm under attack and pull these troops back, right? But they're just they're studio doing nothing. They're Unless somehow Bone Saw can come through with it like another tactic like last time. Yeah. But this time it's it's not looking like it's, it's, I get it, because, like, it's difficult for players, of, again, of, of this level to be both, like, trying to defend. Try, they're, they're observing their navels. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Okay, now they're going to go in, but now he's, now, this is, as I said, like, Bonesaw's going to be focused on these, these archers, right? He's clicking, he's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm under attack. I, I don't know if he's actually like that, by the way. That's just, you know, just what I'm thinking. And he's like, oh, there's a town center, don't worry. And Zeta 2 is in here, like, that's, we're, we're killing everything, right? We're killing everything. Um, so Bonesaw's like, yes! I'm getting lots of villager kills. I'm doing good here. <laughs> Look, and this is actually super bad for Zeta 2 not to notice this, obviously, but... Problem is, uh... This is happening as well at the same time. Yeah, well, I think Zeta's like, you know what? It's, that's fine that that's happening, because I'm over here doing this. Well, uh, like, Zeta could have just garrisoned his troops into this town center. And when you garrison, sorry, your villagers, it'll just kill these. Um, the problem is that they're now, like, these ain't getting no more value. You know, the villagers have run, and they just stood under this town center doing nothing. And it's give, give. Probably could have been the better choice. Look. Um, he needs to move these in, kill these, move over here. Kill all these. Uh, it's a lot easier said than done, of course. Again, you are being under attack, right? But okay, now Zeta knows this, right? He, he's put his villagers inside the town center, and and now all this, all this attack. And it, it's difficult, though, of course. You know, as I say, I will say that it's, it's difficult to try and do all these things when you've got fires everywhere. <sighs> and these archers die. I didn't like the idols over there. Just like, no, no, I don't like those. Mm. It's, it's affecting my OCD. Just these children. They're just living life, okay? Let them be. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now they're moving. Now they're moving. There we go. Um, this guy, I, I, I don't know. I don't know why Bone Saw's like Halb is is just like that's say a two's base, but there, and you got like one halberdier just just chilling. Over here, like, just... <laughs> like... <laughs> and the problem is, like, Halb's are, again, great against these... Oh, no. This is so over. Sorry. A great against these horses, but the problem is Zeta 2 is going to put it down the castle right here. And again, these two Halbs, which have been garrisoned in this building. Remember me bringing that up a little while ago? Like, 15 minutes ago. They're still in there. And you're still losing villagers... Your yeah, halbs are just like, a villagers under attack? Huh. Um, does any of you want to do something about that? Nah. I think we'll just sit over here, you know, because... You know, the villagers are just... Okay, these two come out now, but the problem is... 
<laughs> There's so many enemies. And I think this is this is game over now for real. Sadly for Bones, so I, I Okay, they're like quick! Good gravy, everybody. Quick! Now is our time to shine, and there's just nothing left to save because it's all been destroyed. <laughs> right? And and then suddenly they're gonna be wearing purple armor. And I was like, huh. Okay. I see how it is. <laughs> are they just gonna are they just gonna just pass and go on their other sit like their other town? Okay, cool. <laughs> Nothing to see here, just keep walking. Oh, okay, well. Again, this now this is the problem. <laughs> To be honest, if I was them and I seen that, I, I would, I'd be walking the other way now. I'd be, I'd be like, bye. Most certainly. Yep. Yeah. Um. There's actually. So these are the Gajaras. Like <laughs> Sadly, I wish that was the case. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, the, the Gajara's unique unit are called like the Shrim Vamsha. I, I really can't say it. I remember the first time I see him, I was like, Shrimps! The Shrimp Vamshers! And I just... <laughs> really difficult to say that word. Shri Vamsha Riders. That's the Gajara's unique units. And... I think you said that pretty well. But... Yeah. But the first 60 times, I didn't say it well. Like, I kept saying Shrimp Riders. So... Um, Why well, still say Fish and Chips? Fish and Chips, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this town seems pretty chill, considering you know you got all these troops coming in and, and, and kind of, kind of killing you. <sighs> oh, I thought there's a little gap in the, the thing there. It's not. Y'all crusaders, neat. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill over here is just like, uh, wherever. I'm just, uh, I'm living life in the wild, man. You just smoking a dude. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's. I, I, I highly recommend it if you, if you're like village, if you're the Vikings and you're getting raided. Okay, something's going on there. <laughs> uh, oh no, Bozo doesn't give up though. He's he's got the spirit. Maybe he's thinking of like building some more. You know what? It's because he didn't build walls. This is why. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. It, that's exactly the. That's exactly the. the walls. And look, these halbs still haven't done nothing. They're just, they moved over to the middle and they're just like, nah, we ain't dealing with this. Unfortunately, they're gonna have to deal with it now because they're right here. <laughs> and the three vampire riders are just like, eh, ain't got time to deal with you. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Oh no. Hi, Super Sour. How's it going? I'm. I'm casting age with Chimera. Woo! Hi. We're having a blast because there's, there's some sort of story which has happened from this game, and even this situation is bizarre. Look, the, 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 the horses are running away from the halbs, and the halbs are just doing. Well, they're gonna die. No. <gasps> oh! Trying to hit them with the catapults. They okay, know they're gonna fight. Well, question is, is the pig alive? Yes! Yes! The pig is still alive! Oh my goodness. Yes! Um, Bonesaw is building the castle here, actually. This, this could be interesting. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, just passing. Oh no! Oh, Zayda didn't see the fact there's a castle being put down here. Not that it's going to make a difference, of course. You know, you're, you're dead. You're dead at this point. Oh, there's a wall. Actually, sorry, I take that back. Hmm. Is it like, is it, is it one piece of the wall? Yep. Fantastic. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, it's just like, yeah, boy. I've um, got a wall, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and some people, like, know, like, well, I'm beaten, I should resign. Other people, they just live like bone saw, you know, you just... You know, there's still some chance, at least in their heads, that they can win, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, not good. Not good at all. The bone saw just knows that you gotta go to completion. Yeah. You don't wanna go halfway. And then these villagers are dead. These villagers are chilling, living life. This halb's living life. Now, 
is this something about this corner or something? Look, we got one help here for Bones, so just like, huh? And then we have one Shri Vamsha rider, just like, what up? I think they got it's the good the stuff. East corner. Yeah. That's so lit. They just chill. They just you know smoking, relaxing. Um, the Bones are starting to like rebuild over here now, which is like, okay. And I got a feeling this game might go on for like another 30 minutes. When it really has no business going on that long. <laughs> so he's looking around. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to put my troops here. Did they all get together and they're just like, you know what? Let's just give the commentator something to do for a while. Yeah. Let's just talk about how like, you know, the pig, pig lives. I, he's... I hope that pig survives to the end yes. of the match. So, so, remember I said there was pig garrisons, like, after Castle Age, it doesn't, like, pay dividends to keep them garrisoned, so all, his, all of his pig buddies have been ungarrisoned and murdered as well, so he's just, like, kind of looking at the, the mill now of, like, that's where my family used to be, as he's on the fire and Aww. just... I think that pig's gonna have, like, some issues if he does survive, but, uh... Piggy PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> so the P stands for Piggy. So... <laughs> no, it's just, just Zaya's just chilling. He's happy for this castle to be built. Maybe he's in the mindset of like, the longer Zaya, uh, the longer Bonesaw stays alive, the more I guess to toy toy with him. Like, this is, just like, again, this this, yeah, it's, it's finished. This. Oh no, the new town under here is under attack. But that being said, again, this is a knockout like round, right? So you really don't want to just. You know, you you worry about giving up early, but <laughs> I think when you're surrounded on on every single village and yo, Dennis, how's it going? Good to see you. Dennis was uh, playing the other day as well, Camera, like in the tournament. He's... And he's actually, but now he's survived. And like bone saw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, too soon. All right. Now Zeta's gonna build a castle here. Um, these are the units I'm talking about. Uh, Berserk. Sorry, I've, they're just useless. Although this time they are gonna get. <gasps> no! Don't kill the pig! Don't kill the pig! No! 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 Oh, yeah, the pig survives. The pig actually becomes bone sauce. But it, it's gone back to its rightful owner. That's nice. Actually, this is these raids. Uh, I was afraid. I was petrified. Yep. And this pig is like, yeah, I got a new, new color, boy, from purple to blue. Um. This is the weirdest fight ever. I mean, you know, it's just the boom saw loses all his army. Like, I still got this here, but this. This is weird, this, I don't know, this is really weird. There we go, Bonesaw. No, 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 no. Well. What happened to this pig? This is the main thing. So, of course, Bone... No! No! No, pig! No! 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 Life is so cruel! No! If we had one thing, it would just be for this pig to survive! Oh, and there was the town center, stray bullets. No, the stray bullets from the town center. Ah. Bonesaw was selecting his troops, and because he had control of the pig, he selected the pig and clicked him over here. And then the town said oh. was shooting the stray, the stray bullets at this. Uh, uh, I reckon that's why he gave up for the the, the pig died. And ah, oh, I don't know about you, Chimera, but I'm devastated right now. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, that was my big investment. Like, just, Rest in peace, piggy. Just seeing. Well. The good news is this help is, is perfectly fine, and so is this guy. You know, they, they just chill for the whole fight, and... <sighs> I'm devastated for the pig. I'm also like, well, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm sad the bone saw is out, but... 
It's just a pig, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Bonesaw is knocked out of the tournament. The walls could only save him so long. Zero two for continuing to be in the tournament. Yep. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to update the table now. But, uh, which means it'll take a little second, a little few. It was actually a really fun game, though. I'm glad glad we managed to see that together. Um, that was a great one. Just a little slow when it comes to updating the tables. 1-1. One, one, which is... 3... Uh, this, is, this is making my brain hurt. I'm, I'm doing my best. <laughs> Numbers, right? Numbers, am I right? Two. I, I know, like, five of them. They're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh say a two is three three ah, this is make this is making my brain hurt i'm trying I'm trying to come as fast as I can. Without making a mistake. Three and then three three maybe? That's probably not what you want to hear when I'm trying to update the the, the table, like maybe. Huh. Okay, right. I'm gonna send the table to you, Chimera, over Discord. Right here. Oh, I get a table? Yep. Okay. I've now the results just after that game. And um this is super important for Let me just update it on stream as well for everyone. Ah, oh, gotcha. Zoop. Right there. So it actually makes Zeta 2 go up into well, second, but that's only because he he's won three rounds and Maestro's only won two. That's what this means is BD Legend is, is gonna Go through to the next stage, no matter what happens, and Bone Saw is out. But the fight between two and sec, like who who goes out between Zeta and Maestro? The last game in the set is between Maestro and Zeta, so it's literally all falls down to the last game in this table in round three between Maestro and Zeta, between who goes through. Ooh, that's exciting. Yes. Oh, I'm really excited. So yeah, we're, we're, my brain is like mesh from bone saw, <laughs> putting up the walls and stuff. But this is gonna be very close. And if I was either like Zeta or Maestro, I'd be so nervous right now. But like, oh no, um, obviously the other game is gonna be between bone saw and BD Legends, and BD Legends already won two, lost none. So maybe well. Oh hi, BD Legends. How's it going? BD. Let's So you're playing Bonesaw in six and a half hours and Zeta and Maestro are playing 13 or now. Numbers! Ah! Um, Ooh, it's a full day. Also, hi, Funny. Me and Camara both here for you. Hi, Funny. <laughs> Fun long. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much match, two, match four, I think. One, two, three, four. All the numbers. But yeah, anyway, this, this group is going to be decided, well, tonight, I guess. So Tomorrow yeah. morning. Tomorrow morning. So, uh, thank you for I'm watching this with me as well, Camara. Thanks so much. Of course. Uh, Glad to what, be here. And what's your plan for the rest of the day? Do you want to like stick around? Or are you gonna like do your own thing? Um. What do you, do you mean? Am I going to continue to be uh, commentating with you? Yeah. If you want, I, I mean, don't there's no. Why not? Well, there we go. It's decided. <laughs> Sweet. Right. 